cheese is moved. There are 10 different forms of wealth. This is taken out of the book that I'm working on now because I recognize it based off all the surveys and interviews, black millionaires. 10 different forms of wealth. Money, as you see, is number three is only one of them. Now my hot shot know it all NBA so is Dr. K. How come money's not number one? Why is knowledge number one? Because the pocketbook can't grow till the mind grows. You've got to have a wealth consciousness. And what do we know about those millionaires <clears throat> who became millionaires through the lottery? 64% of all millionaires who became such through the lottery, for those who asked for their earnings in one fell swoop, are dead broke in five years. So knowledge is number one. Number two, work habits. Do your work. Go the extra mile. There's nothing to fear. You're as good as the best, as strong as the mightiest too. Do your work. Market pays superior awards for superior, excuse me, superior performance. Know the difference between efficient and effective. Know the difference being efficient and effective. Money, multiple streams of income. Number four, contacts. Networking is a critical skill. It's not who you know, it's what you know about who you know. What is the difference between have versus have not? Okay, when you look at relationships, the have not, social, party, holla, let's hit it. The have, networking. We talked about creativity, business is a talent show, persistence. That was the main form of the 10 different forms of wealth that I used to hit my goals and objectives. Persistence. Believe in yourself when no one else will. Hang on long after others have given up. I want you to be like Sammy. Sammy is eight years old in the third grade, painting a picture at his desk. And the teacher comes by and says, Sammy, what are you doing? Sammy says, I'm painting a picture of God. Teacher says, well, no one knows what God looks like. Sammy says, they will in a minute. <laughs> Confidence and charisma. I gave you the example of uh, Maynard Jackson and uh, Maya Angelou. I tell my students all the time, when you, listen, don't walk into the room. Walk into the room. Walk into the room. Luck, oh, I got a typo right there. It's correlated with activity. The harder you work, the luckier you'll get. Use your energy, two types of energy, and that's not me, that's Albert Einstein, high and low, fast and slow. And what do we know about the wealthy? They always are high and fast. Albert Einstein, two types of energy, high and low, fast and slow. The wealth creators. <laughs> Tell, tell me about their habits. Tell me how they go through life. They're always doing something, going someplace. Hey, talk to me, hit me on my hip, email me. I go, okay, I'm gonna get back to you, but I, I gotta run now. All right, the poor, the hopeless, downtrodden, what about their energy? Oh, I just wish I could find somebody to help me with these kids. Use your energy, get on with it. Tom Peters, A Search of Excellence, develop a bias for action, a sense of urgency. Do it now. One of the other coins that I have in my pocket, one of the things that W. Clement Stone gave me in the first meeting that we had, November 4th, 1986, he gave me a coin. On one side is picture, on the other side, do it now. And last but not least, choosing the correct vocation. That's wealth. Are you choosing the correct vocation? Are you in the line of work that you can really use your talents? Number one reason why men leave corporate America is what? Compensation. That's not me, that's Corn Ferry. Corn Ferry and Associates. Number one reason why women leave their corporate assignments. They're not being recognized. Women come up with an idea to do something better, faster, cheaper, more efficient, more effective, and they're not allowed to implement the idea. That's the number one reason why they leave. Not because there's better pay across the street, not because the spouse got relocated, not because they want to stay home with the kids. Nope. They're not recognized for the talents. The cheese has moved. The cheese is still there. It didn't disappear. So what are you doing to sharpen the axe? What are you doing to stay more effective? What are you doing to stay more marketable? 
The biggest mistake you'll ever make in life is think somebody else signs your paycheck. No, you sign your own paycheck. People don't promote you, you promote yourself. You promote yourself. The cheese has moved. You are not an employee, you are an individual profit center. Wow. Wow. You are an individual profit center. Last question, my brother, Josh Williams. Is it Williams? And what do you do, Brother Williams? What do I do? Um, I write, public speak, music, and football. Wow. Yes, sir. Who do you play football for? Little, uh, high school. Okay, what position? Man, you got good size, brother. You know what we say out in Oklahoma? If you ain't got size, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> and I don't care who you are, everybody can use an extra 20. <laughs> I was there with Barry Switzer, boy. Go ahead. Well, number one, you've got to prioritize it, okay? And I don't care whether you come up with a to-do list or you number it. You come up with a to-do list and you number it one, two, three, or you letter it A, B, C. You focus in on one, you focus in on A. You've got 50 million ideas, okay, but not all of them are number one or number A. Number one and number A will fit into the compartment. If I don't take advantage of this opportunity, this is once in a lifetime, all right? So one and A. All right, after you complete one and A, you don't go to two, you don't go to B. Two and B now becomes one and A. Why? Because you are always asking this question. What is the most efficient and effective use of my time right now? And that will prioritize which one you gotta take advantage of right now. What you've got to do right now. People ask me now, Dr. K, can you write an article of this? Can you get involved? Can you edit my book? Yeah, I'd love to do that, but my complete and total focus is on have versus have not, what black millionaires know that others know. That is my focus. And my wife can tell, my wife is around me all the time. Boy, you just think about, because she can just see me looking at that. Man, you just thinking about that book? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking her right in the eye. Where do you want to go dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. When you put the book aside, where are we going to go dinner tonight? You know me, man. That is the complete and total focus. So what are you focused in on? Where are you going to be in five, seven years? 